Hey guys, it's Jedi's Point of View, and today we're going to be reading through some more of the Book of the Sith. I know it's been a while since my last upload, but I'm here, ladies and gentlemen, just been quite busy with the old baby and the wife, you know how it is. Everything's going well, and I appreciate everybody for all the support on the channel, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more, and leave a comment down below for which a fan film reaction video you'd like me to do next, because next video will be a fan film reaction. So let's just get right into this next part of the book here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're still reading through the Darth Bane entries. So before we read Striking from the Shadows, Sidious leaves a comment on top and he says, I have struck from the shadows while remaining in plain sight. It is a superior disguise. So Striking from the Shadows. The Sith of old brazenly and publicly announced their superiority. In this, they were correct. They were mistaken, though, if they thought no legion of enemies would rise up against them. The Sith have always been smeared as wicked, evil beings, no different from the cacodemons of children's tales who lurk in dark places with dripping fangs. Because submission to such horror is unthinkable, many believe they must fight the f or face extermination. The Jedi are shameless in spreading this alarmist propaganda. Under the rule of two, the Sith will operate in secrecy, feeding the belief that the Sith are a thing of the past, forgotten in their graves of Rusan. We must not make our presence known. Chug some G fuel quick. The dark side of the Force is finally concentrated. It gives the two beings unlimited power, but the Sith cannot afford to lose either of you. Do not make yourselves targets. Even a Sith Lord can be felled by a thousand enemies. If there exists a single being who believes in the continued existence of the Sith, kill him. If a group learns of the secret, you must resort to sub sub subterfuge and misdirection. At one point, the Jedi believed they had evidence of my own survival after Rusan. My apprentice and I concocted a ruse in which she drove her brother insane and made him appear to be the terrible Sith Lord. That This satisfied the Jedi's need to assign blame, and they moved on. So we have a comment from Luke here as well. He says, this tendency to hide worries me. There may be threats out there that we have yet encountered. Um, the Quinlan Vos leaves something. He says, the Jedi learned about the rule of two more than a century ago from the cultist Kib Jean. Seem, some of them didn't believe it. Now that Obi-Wan's fight on Naboo has confirmed the truth, the Jedi are ready to face whatever the Sith have been cooking up. Yeah, I wish I was true, Quinlan. Then we have some more cool art here. Of some bad boy and all the crime syndicates. So he says the masterminds of the underworld are merely puppets of the Sith. The Sith Order is now a lineage. Given your skills, you should find it a simple matter to amass wealth. And thus, with each succession, the resources of the Sith will increase. Do not build palaces, for they will draw attention. Use your money to hire spies, scholars, assassins, trainers, guards, and thieves. All will prove useful, and the shine of credits will distract them from your true nature. True. So Sidious has another comment here under selecting an apprentice, and he goes, Curious, I have brought the Sith to their ultimate victory. Through study, I will soon learn how to defeat death while I may choose apprentices. I will never choose a successor. That's why you failed, Sidious. Again, the Sith Order is a lineage. It must not end with you. I will not allow my new Sith Order to expire because you are unworthy to, or too protective to bequeath your power. Sidious is exactly that. Bane called him out, bro, right there. I bet Sidious was mad when he was reading this. Uh, oh, excuse me. Let's get right on in. So know this. Your apprentice will kill you. If this fact frightens you, then the Sith Order has already suffered a fatal infection. Your existence in the Order is not needed. Your battle has already been lost. A Sith apprentice must grow in strength and skill under he or she who can who surpass the master. Anything else is regression. Would you have the Sith become like the kings of Sha Quen, wh whose dominion crumbled into ruin? Or do you believe you will live forever? You are not wrong to co covert or covet that secret, for I have sought to prolong my own life. But in the extreme, this leads to narcissism and a lack of focus on the rule of two. To be a Sith Lord is to outthink your enemies and to plan for the any eventuality. A proper apprentice will ensure, ensure that the Sith endure no matter what fate may come of, upon your head. Many Force-sensitive beings exist among the stars. Seek out those who have yet not been discovered or subjected to Jedi corruption. You will find it easier to mold the young, for their bodies and minds are still in flux. 
You may wish to train several candidates at once. Their rivalries will force their essential natures to the surface, making it unlikely that they will join forces against you. Um, tell them only one will survive to become your apprentice. Let them defeat one another in combat, betray one another in their sleep, or play with one's suspicions and tensions. All are admirable skills for a future Sith Lord. Then watch as they destroy one another. I did not have the luxury of employing this method when selecting my own apprentice, but if she should prove reluctant to take my place, I will train a second apprentice to replace her. The talented and ambitious will receive the reward. The rest will taste only ashes. And then we have conflict sharpens one's skills and makes the Sith stronger with some cool art there as well. Look at that. And then we can cover the revenge of the Sith. So Obi-Wan or Qui-Gon, not Qui-Gon, Quinlan Voss reads this and says, Obi-Wan killed one Sith on Naboo. I think we could end it all by wiping out Dooku too. Wrong, but at least he was there trying his hardest. So the revenge of the Sith. Under the rule of two, the Sith will concentrate power in one master and one apprentice so that one day we will reveal ourselves to the Jedi. Eventually we will have revenge. Galactic civilization is in an empty term when the civilization lacks leadership. Given a clear vision and means to enact it, a Sith regime could build great wonders in a defiance of the natural laws of silence, stillness, and ruin. Khan was a fool, but he was right in one thing. The laws of the current Republic only upset the, these chaotic forces, and only the Sith may lead... Only the Sith way leads to mastery over entropy. There you go. Jesus. I have beheld a galaxy under Sith rule. So that's pretty cool. Bane has like some concept art there, right there, of what he would like the galaxy to look like under his rule. The Jedi path teaches harmony and peace, but if all we aspired to was harmony, then intelligence beings would still be scratching for food from rotted tree stumps. The dark side of the Force is both an enabler and a guide to advance the cause of this Sith. <laughs> Holy big gun, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa. To advance the cause of the Sith... You must fight those who would hold back or your progression. You and those who succeed you are building an arsenal of dark side potency. One day it will contain the power to destroy the Jedi and bring purpose to the Force. Remember, the code of the Sith. There is no peace, only passion. In creating a new regime, the Sith will defeat the compla complacency of the Jedi, and what we create will be glorious. And then Luke leaves something here. He says, Palpatine failed. My father overcame his master's evil. I witnessed the return of the Jedi who had fought in the Clone Wars. And I know that he found solace in the light of the slice side of force. Here we go. Look at, look at Sidious here. He leaves a big note on top. And he goes, this Jedi didn't survive. Masters Windu and Yoda divined the truth. Or, yeah, divined the truth, but could not stand against me. The long-delayed revenge of Darth Bane became my personal triumph. Technically. And that is it for this entry of the Darth Bane coverings. The next bit is really interesting as well. I just don't want to make this video too long. So he covers personal combat, lightsaber construction, how to use different Sith lightsabers, lightsaber combat for the Sith, using the saber staff. So there's some really cool stuff coming up in the next lore video. And if you guys like the video, as always, don't forget to smash that like button. Drop a subscription down below so that you can come back for more videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. May the force be with you. Always.